Welcome to the Sean Trey Show. I've got a really awesome guest with me today. Now, would you like to tell people who you are and uh, what you do? Yep. Um, my name is Akira. Akira Hayakawa. I'm a filmmaker based in Tokyo. Nice. And uh, yeah. Let's imagine I give you Aladdin's lamp. Genie pops out. What, mm-hmm. what are you going to wish for? Oh, like, like through my career or just let's, let's talk about career. Career. Okay, cool. Um, what would I wish for? Well, I wish um, have more time to create, I think, than, right. than just like work, 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 work. <laughs> That's probably one. Give me time just to like, aside from like working, just give me time to create. And uh, yeah, that's one. Uh, another one is, uh, what would it be? Oh, wow. Um, three wishes. Uh, time to create. Uh, give me like, I think like I'll ask for like, for me to like explode who I am and like, uh, like explode that. my my own creativity, my my expression, and just like let it like go out everything like wow. I like that's, that. That's what I want in my in my all art. That's my second one, and the third one will be what will be the third one. Um, uh, that's hard. Uh, the third one, the third one, third one, third one, third one. Yeah, I know. Uh, another t- uh, time to rest as well. Time right. to rest and just have fun. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Right. That has nothing to do with like work, creativity or anything. Just time to like, for me to go outside and just have fun, uh, travel the world, relax. I don't know. Go biking. <laughs> I think that's huge, man. I think yeah. that's something that we don't pay enough attention to. Everyone mm-hmm. gets so caught up in um, getting ahead that, y- you know, you have that yin yang, you know, you have to push, but you also have to kind of slow down and yeah. appreciate yeah. that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I-, I like that explosion of creativity, though, too, because that's like a great visual, like this mm-hmm. idea of uh, sometimes we all need a little bit of luck, too. You know, you've got all the talent in the world, but sometimes you just need that one thing that comes along that kicks everything off because all it takes is success, I think, is a combination of a couple things. One, hard work, relentless hard work and putting in like, like the time, but it also takes the second thing is has nothing to do to do with hard work. Success also is kind of like exploiting a niche. So like you have to be special in some way. Like what is your thing Mm -hmm. that makes you different from everyone else? You know, like think about like all the famous directors, you know, uh, J.J. Abrams, he's got his light, his lens flares and stuff. You know what I mean? It's like (laughs) people have their thing that makes them them. Mm -hmm. And then the third thing is you got to get some luck. (laughs) Yeah. Definitely. Success is a degree of luck, you know, being Definitely. in the right place at the right time. But not just luck, luck plus a willingness to try. Mm-hmm. Sometimes a door will open and some people will be like, you know what? My life is comfortable here. Mm-hmm. If I step through that door, I'm going to be uncomfortable for a little while. Mm-hmm. But the reality is, is if you don't step through that door, you're never going to know what you could have accomplished. Yeah. Certainly, certainly, maybe for a little while, you're going to be uncomfortable. But in the long run, it changes your life. You know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, have you ever had anything like any of those moments in your life where you're, you had an option to try something and you said, yeah, I'm going to do this and it changed your life in a great way? I mean, I think that has been happening since I, come, since I came to Japan. Because nice. uh, first, when I graduated college and I just moved to Japan, I didn't know anybody in the industry. I didn't know how to like uh, start. I didn't know there were like there was a cool industry here in Japan. I I just thought it was just like all those like shitty movies that you <laughs> see from Japan. But um, yeah, so like first I was working on the uh, a TV on a TV station. That was the first job I ever got here in Japan. 
they were hiring on the internet so i want to do like an interview they were like, okay cool like coming from like this time since day one i hated that job because it's such a corporate <laughs> job and i don't care about news i don't even watch news so i i hated it but uh i had a nine month contract so i was like okay let's just work for nine months fuck it i don't have any other way to like uh earn money and just uh, make a living so i'm like fuck it this nine months i'm gonna focus so that's what i was yeah. doing and uh in during that nine months um in summer i my best friend from college was here in japan we were yeah. just like hanging out almost every weekend and uh one one day we were walking in this big district here in tokyo called shibuya yeah. i saw these three kids like making a music video i thought i saw they had a ari camera one of those professionals camera yeah. So I approached him. I approached him. I asked him, like, "Yo, um, I wanna be in the industry. Like, how the how can I how can I how can I join that? How can I do it? I wanna be yeah. making movies, like you know, films and music videos, like you guys." And they were like, "Oh, just give us your Instagram. Let's just connect through Instagram." And uh, when I realized now, I'm like best friends with them. They're like my best friends That's awesome. <laughs> of life, almost. Yeah. So a, yeah. Uh, that's one of those situations where. You saw them working and you could have been like, oh, bye bye. You know, see ya. Nice job. But you talked to them. You took yeah. a chance. Yeah. And it yeah, changed yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. It changed everything. Yeah. So like every every moment, even I was working. So like after I met them, I was working on just Japanese crew for a long time. And I, I'm like, at least I'm doing what I like. But the uh, Japanese way of doing it's a little bit exhausting and tiring yeah. and it's just a japanese mindset that it's difficult different from my mindset that i've been like uh, you know i'm more international more more i don't know <laughs> more global kind of mindset so it's very yeah. different for me and i didn't like it so one day i was working for uh for this uh this dude and then i met this uh taiwanese guy and uh he started inviting me to like more foreign sets and now like when i realized yesterday we had like a end of year party and in that end of year party, like I knew almost everyone, almost everyone, but it was uh, it was just all foreigners from all foreigners, so all bilingual people living in Japan. I was like, wow, nice. from like from like TV station, I came all the way here, and it's all my like me working hard and just like chasing what I want, and it's it's awesome, it's beautiful, like that. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Yeah, you know, and the, the cool part is, is it's like. Everyone operates inside of a box, you know, mm -hmm. and that box is our comfort zone. Like, mm -hmm. this is what I'm comfortable with. This is what mm -hmm. I'm not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. But like, literally the best stuff comes when we are outside of our comfort zone. Yeah. And like, and like, but you know, it, it, you don't know there's stuff out there that's really awesome unless you're willing to walk through a doorway. Yeah. And sometimes you have to step through that door. And when you step through the door, life changes but you have to be willing to take that step mm -hmm. to step through and say hey what's it going to look like on the other side mm -hmm. i don't know i but literally don't do know it. yeah but let's do it let's, let's do, do it. it yeah and then when you can say that to life all right i'm here universe i'm listening mm -hmm. let's do this let's and do then it. stuff changes yeah one uh one, one thing that inspired me was uh there was this like will I, you probably have seen it this will smith's uh, interview about like uh, uh getting out of your comfort zone he was talking about uh him going with his friends to like skydive and whatnot and uh, yeah. he just said with his friends like they were drunk so they were like hey let's go skydiving but like the at, during, at night he was so worried and he he had so much anxiety because like Oh my God, I'm going to fly from the sky. So yeah. <laughs> he was so anxious until like they flew from the, from the airplane. And like he said that like after he flew from the airplane, he, after he stepped out of his like uh, comfort zone and uh, he went, he dived into his fears. That's when he saw that the world is so beautiful. You know, the view from the sky and everything. I'm right. like, whoa, that's, that's such a good story. And that's so inspiring. So it, exactly. It, it, it takes like, <laughs> We get caught up in the fears. What if I fail? What if I fail? What if I fail? What if I fail? That a lot of people won't try. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. You know what? We all, we're all going to die someday. Yeah. 
No, and what, what that's, I, all, that's where it ends up, yeah. man. You might as well have fun <laughs> on the way there. <laughs> what I see is that, like, um, uh, for me, staying in your comfort zone and being feared, fearful, that's for me, that's my biggest fear. So I don't right. like being in like a like like in the zone of just fear, because mm-hmm. you you know you know you must do something to like go forward. So just staying in that zone for me, it's like it's scary. It's scary. Yeah. So that that I like that. Yeah, I like going out and yeah. just going wild. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, that's awesome. Now, if you could go back in time. Mm-hmm. and give your younger self some advice. What advice would you give yourself? Um, I guess, I guess what we've been talking about, just don't, don't be that fearful. Just like go do what you want. Don't, don't, don't be scared that like whatever you do, your parents or your teachers are going to get mad at you. Don't, yeah. don't worry. Don't, don't, don't try to like stress yourself over like school work or just try to be perfect. Just like, if you don't want to do it, just don't do it. You know, who cares? There's yeah. this line from a Kendrick Lamar song that I love so much. Whatever happens on earth stays on earth. So like, just do whatever, the, whatever you want to do, you know, that's yeah. what I would tell my younger self. That's awesome. Yeah. It's like, we, we only got you know, however many years to try to do what we can. Mm -hmm. And for some people, it's longer, some people it's shorter. Mm -hmm. But if you don't try anything, then you never get anywhere. What was that? (laughs) Michael Jordan quote, you miss, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Take the shot, man. Take the shot. Take the shot. Anything, anything. Uh...